This is a video about the growth of plants in space. It explores the use of different growing methods in space and the effect that low gravity has on the growth of plants. Many of the modern and advanced growing methods are based on techniques of hydroponics. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants without soil and water. The method uses a nutrient-based solution that can be tailored to specific plants and to obtain the maximum growth. A low gr gravity growing system has been tested on the ISS using a system called Veggie. The first large scale effort to grow plants in space. The system uses bags known as pillows that are full of soil substrate with controlled release fertilizer. The seeds are carefully orientated and embedded into the pillow so that the, in low gravity environments the roots grow down and the shoots grow upwards. To provide the plants with energy, red, blue and green LEDs are used. This is a lightweight modular system that is easy to transport. In order to colonise far off planets, plant growth systems will be needed during the flight and on the planet itself. Having a garden on the spacecraft will be useful because it improves the mood and emotional well-being of the astronauts. As research shows, this would be important for long journeys to Mars or Venus. When we get to our destination, we will need to have, a, have to set up production for food at, for a self-sustaining colony. This would come in many forms and the need for resource efficiency would mean that a hydroponic system would may be the best. Hydroponics is effective due to the less energy being used in root growth because of all the nutrients supplied directly to the root itself. So there is much higher yield of leafy fruit and veg. Root vegetables and cereal crops, however, do not grow well due to their root structure. A hydroponic system uses far less water and crop density is far higher, increasing crop yield in a small microclimate is optimal. Hydroponics has been used in commercial businesses worldwide to produce a varied product. This is because it is a sustainable method which uses little space. Also, it allows businesses to, in poor climates to be able to produce crops with little difficulty. The hydroponic method allows businesses to finally control the environment in which the plants live in to achieve a certain outcome. There are variations of hydroponics that improve and change the basic hydroponic concept. Aquaponics is a variation of hydroponics that combines techniques of aquaculture, which is a way that fish are raised in tanks and in lakes. In aquaponics, fish waste is converted by bacteria into nitrates and nitrites, which feeds the plants and in turn the plants oxygenate the water for the fish. This system supplies itself with nutrients which allow the system to be more self-sustaining. Aquaponics is a way to reduce water usage in hydroponic systems by missing the nutrient solution onto the roots at a timed intervals, often controlled by a microcontroller. The controls the control the duration of the mist blast. The misting increases the uptake of water due to the increased presence of oxygen around the roots. Overall, using one or more of these systems could make a major difference in the colonization of other planets and should be an important area of focus for ESA.